Hi there, today we're going to have a look at uh, Nato Green Paint. I've just received the uh, paint that I ordered from uh, Marcus Glenn um, and we're going to have a go uh, and see how well the colour matches to the standard green that's on the Pinsgower um, to see how much of the truck we're going to need to paint. If it's a really good match then I'm only going to have to paint a couple of panels. If it's pretty far different then we're going to have to paint the whole truck um, which obviously is a significantly bigger job um, so um, we'll have a look at what arrived in the post today so today through uh, from UPS delivery uh, came our tin of NATO green satin and TH25 thinners, which is the recommended thinners to use with uh, this paint. Uh, what we have in the background here is the side door um, to our Pinsgower. This one is um, off the truck originally and it has quite a, a bad rust section um, and uh, along the inside of the back edge of, of this edge is all rusted out as well. Um, however, we've got some nice flat pipe pieces. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bit of masking tape across the panel. We're gonna split, try and spray one side of the masking tape so that we can get a clear shut line um, to see what the difference contrast between the two different paints is. So as usual, we've got our GoPro up here. Um, we've got our panel laid out underneath it um, using our Sealy uh, gold seal gun. Um, we're going to mix up uh, about a, a normally working about a 90 10 mix 90% paint, 10% thinners. We'll have a go with that, see how that sprays, and that's also going to give us the idea of how the spray is going to go with future um, paint jobs. So we've masked our area here and we're going to plant the paint on this left hand side of this blue strip. Um, uh, but before we can start that then we need to give our paint a good mix. So opening up the tin, right, um, wet the paint looks a little darker and um, we've got to have a, a, a lot of paints change dramatically in colour when they're mixed. So we'll have a good old mix through of this as well. Um, and also they change a lot when they dry. So it does seem fairly well mixed. It has literally just come through the post. Um, so I would imagine it's been stirred up a bit in the back of the van. And, and it says quite a thin paint, I would suggest already. Um, so that is, is endorsing the fact that I'm probably only going to be using a 10% thinning. Um, It's not a particularly fumy paint, um, although it does recommend that uh, you wear the correct PPE, um, which I'll always fully endorse. I'm not a fan of breathing in this stuff. Um, so let's just have a dab there. Um, that doesn't look too different a colour on that panel. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to about half fill this jar. Try not to, to spill, which never works fresh out the tin. Always have cloth handy. So 
10 never pours first time. Uh, I need 10 on never pours first time. We'll mop up this bit that we spilled down here. Yeah. So that's just a little over half of this jar now. Containers that have got a nozzle in them. Right, still sealed inside. So we're just putting in about the equivalent of 10 percent. I'm not a professional painter, which you can probably tell um, by the fact that I do a lot of stuff by eye. I know that some painters will probably laugh at the way I'm doing this. Um, right, so there we are, we have paint thinned to about 10%. We're going to give that a mix again. I'm sure professional painters also don't use coffee jars to mix their paint in. It has had the coffee washed out in there. So there we are, that's about 10% thinned. I'm gonna put my mask on now so if the video gets a bit muffled, that's the reason. Right, so. Mix paint a little bit in the pot. We're not going to go too mad because we're not going to paint acres and acres. Turn uh, that up to the air. And we'll just on this rag have a bit of a test spray, right? So it's coming through. So we'll just see how it paints. like it's got quite a good shine to it um, for being a satin. Uh, I'm told not to use matte paint because <clears throat> because matte paint um, is porous and therefore we'll let water through and we'll let the panel underneath rust. Um, so that, that's apparently a big no-no to use matte paint. Uh, but has thinned that too much, I would suggest. Uh, we've got some running down this edge. Before this dries, I'm just gonna slowly peel this tape off and we'll have a look at how it's dry here. So we'll let that dry and then we'll see what our ship line looks like and, and how much variation in colour there is. 
Right, so while this half's drying, um, I've masked another piece off and I'm going to spray just on this side with the straight paint without it being thinned because I think that um, the thinning is thinning the paint too much. Um, it is quite a thin paint straight out the tin, so I'm wondering if we'll get away with just uh, straight paint. So I'm just going to pour a small amount straight into the gun. See how this goes just with uh, straight paint. What do we need to do? Definitely more of an orange peel effect, um, which is not a bonus for the unthinned version. So we've got a really smooth finish over here and quite an orange peely finish. Um, we'll try and take a photograph of that so we can see that at this stage. It could be that I need to find a sweet spot in the thinning somewhere between the two. And I think that's probably what the answer is going to be. Right, so today, two days have passed since uh, I painted the side door um, with our new green paint that arrived. So we'll have a look at what the result looks like. down here and we painted to the left of this line and to the right of that line okay um, so this when we painted it looked an extremely shiny paint uh, thankfully now I'm quite happy to say that it matted out really really nicely once um, it, it dried off so I'm really quite happy with it it is, comes out a shade darker and I would say very slightly bluer green than the original. Um, it's going to mean that we're going to have to paint the whole truck, um, which I was under the impression I was going to have to do anyway. Um, so that, that's a bit of a, a review of this uh, uh, Marcus Glenn paint. Um, actually really nice to spray. This, this patch we did with 100% uh, paint, this was about 10% thinned. The 10% thinned was just a little too thin. The 100% was just a little too thick. So I think we're looking for about a 5% mix. 
um, when we do our final paint jobs, uh, which uh, I'm going to be getting on with one of them, um, which is the rear door of the truck. There's going to be a whole video on just refurbishing the, the rear door of the, the Pinsgower, so you're going to see all that. Uh, this this was just a, a trial panel because this is one we've replaced. If you look at the previous YouTube videos, you'll see the the video of stripping this door um, to put the new all the parts onto the new powder coated door. That powder coated door is a different shade of green again, so therefore it's most definitely going to have to get painted um, in the new colour um, because it's noticeably um, a lot lighter green that and the rest of the stuff. 